on earnings edge, we're shifting focus from FMCG to autos and it's been a good quarter for Ashok Leland. The company's net loss has fallen to 47.9 crores versus a loss of 142 crores. Why and why? But what's really driving that performance? To discuss that, I'm being joined by Gopal Mahadevan, the CFO at Ashok Leland. Uh, Mr. Mahadevan, uh, always good talking to you and thanks for joining us. Let's uh, talk about the uh, headline figures. You know, there's been a why and why uptick as far as revenues and margins go. How do you really assess the quarter gone by? Well, uh, I'm happy to share with you that uh, we have had a pretty good uh, quarter uh, in the current circumstances. Uh, we have increased our market share from 23.2% to 25.5%. Our revenues have gone up by 5% to 2,477 crores. But more importantly, our EBITDA margins have moved from 1% to 4.7% in the current quarter. And our uh, profit uh, after tax, or so the losses, actually have come down by 67% down to 48 crores in the current quarter. So overall, I think this has been the result of uh, an improvement in mix, an improvement in realizations, the persistent efforts that the company has been putting in to reduce uh, uh, operating cost and increase operational efficiency. And all of this has actually resulted in, uh, uh, you know, the performance for the quarter. Okay, but can you go into more specifics in terms of the factors which have contributed to this, sir? Well, I, if you look at the uh, quarter one volumes and the total industry volumes, uh, uh, we would actually see that the, the volumes are still about 10% lower. But if you were to break it down into months, actually you will see that uh, in the month of April, the volumes were about 12% lower than the same month last year. If you were to go down to May, actually the volumes are 9% lower. And in the month of June, they are only 2% lower. So what you actually see is a deceleration in the, uh, you know, in, in the reduction in volumes. So as we move forward, I believe that uh, if the government were to roll out uh, some of the measures that it has promised in the budget and which seems to be the focal point at the Prime Minister's office, uh, we believe that the industry should see a growth in the second half of the year. So while the monsoon may be picking up in July, it's still about 24% below normal. Can you tell us uh, the performance for the CV industry, which is really so closely linked to the monsoon? Any sort of outlook for that? A good rainfall would certainly have been a big positive for the economy. But uh, from the commercial vehicle industry perspective, I think uh, what is critical is uh, the uh, investment in infrastructure. And I would also say, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, stepping up of uh, manufacturing. If these two were to happen, there is no reason why the commercial vehicle industry would not revive. Going by the announcements that the government has made, uh, I believe that uh, we, we should see a growth in the commercial vehicle industry in the second half of the year. And let's also see how the, uh, you know, monsoons pan out. So, uh, run us through expansion plans that you could possibly share with us for the rest of the fiscal. Sure. Happily, we do not have any major uh, CapEx expansions. Ashok Leyland has completed uh, its major capital investments uh, over the last four to five years. And we are completely ready on the uh, engine. We have a completely new engine called the Neptune. Uh, we are absolutely current on the cabin and as well as the chassis. And the manufacturing facilities are also up to date and uh, they are, uh, you know, they use the absolute latest uh, technologies. So we do not foresee any major capital investment either in capacity, in, in, uh, capacity expansion or in any uh, major programs over the next couple of years. I think we are ready to capture the upside and uh, we do not uh, uh, foresee uh, any uh, major capital expenditure in the current year. So we were talking about outlook for the volume growth, but uh, can I pin you down to a specific figure in terms of how much growth you're expecting over the next two quarters? Uh, let me put it this way. I think if the economy were to revive as has been forecasted, I, there is, I see no reason why the commercial vehicle industry would also not revive. And if the commercial vehicle industry were to revive, I see that Ashok Leyland, which is a number two player, which is absolutely ready in terms of capacity, in terms of products, in terms of a network, and also in terms of a, a much improved balance sheet, uh, would be completely ready to capture the upside. Having said this, uh, I think if things go as per plan, uh, we can be cautiously optimistic that the second half of the year should see a 10% growth uh, in total industry volumes. Mm. 
quick last words, sir, before we let you go, can you give us a sense of what sort of challenges possibly you're uh, uh, watching out for in terms of the rest of the fiscal? I think we should keep a, uh, I think, close watch on uh, input prices and uh, inflation. I think that's a challenge that is cut out for not only the commercial vehicle industry, but for all of industry uh, in India. That is something that uh, all, uh, I think all industries in India would need to manage. They would need to learn to manage their costs more efficiently. And I think especially for the commercial vehicle industry, uh, I think a lot would depend on the kind of economic revival the, uh, uh, the economy would post. I think once that happens, uh, we could actually see uh, quite a positive trend uh, for the commercial vehicle industry during the second half.